what's going on guys it's gpp baby welcome back to another video i hope everybody's doing well and let's get straight into things so hopefully you've watched yesterday's video if you have you'll see how price delivered pretty much perfectly to our premium pdras that i expected on dollar and then obviously gbp and euro also traded lower just as anticipated so moving into wednesday we do have cpi very high impact news and um in terms of how fast we've moved higher this week I, I am expecting some kind of reversal so i am on the lookout now for a strong pullback i wouldn't be surprised if tuesday's high got ran one more time if it doesn't excellent but um i wouldn't be surprised if cpi because what cpi tends to do is it'll trade both sides as in it'll whip it'll whip one way and then trade opposite for the rest of the week so that's why wednesday we have to be very careful because I, because i can imagine that Tuesday's highs are going to get ran and then I'd like to see a reversal and start seeing price pull back as we move into Thursday and Friday for the rest of the week. So here's dollar on the one hour. We are, we are going to take a look at the daily just to see how price traded and you can see these are the relative equal highs that I drew our attention to yesterday. Beautiful expansion. We didn't even drop lower once so price is obviously in a rush to get somewhere to accumulate what buy stops. Um, price was in a rush to get there and then there's these relative equal highs up here but I doubt price is going to want to reach into them for now. I do, however, want to bring our attention to this rejection block level. I'll just draw it out as a box for now. Uh, as a rectangle. So if price is going to take out Tuesday's high, I would want to see it trade up into this range right here. And that's because this is a rejection block level, meaning that as soon as price taps into it, I'd expect it to find a lot of resistance to then push on lower. Now, again, this might happen on the back of CPI, and I don't suggest trading CPI whatsoever, but it's just typical for price to make a high, a low, a higher high, especially at a significant price level such as this. These are relative equal highs on the daily. And then trade on lower. So I am going to be paying close attention to this rejection block. I'm going to get rid of this for now. I'm going to get rid of this for now. Um, let's take a closer look over here. And you'll see there's a little imbalance up here that also supports our th um, suggestion that price may want to try and reach up into there to create the high of the week. Now, it doesn't mean it has to do it or that it's going to do it. It's just that typically, you know, it's not just going to trade up into a high and then pull back like that. Price doesn't work like that, especially when we have high impact news tomorrow. However, I do like the fact that we have moved very fast this early in the week because that usually lines, up, lines us up nicely for a nice midweek reversal. Excuse um, such as Wednesday or Thursday. So that's what I'm paying attention to mostly now. Um, we do have on the hourly, I've got my daily dividers. You can see we're just retracing right now, but here is that Sunday opening price. The fact that we're still above it and it's already Wednesday, that's more reason as to why I'd wanna see this get targeted as we run into uh, Thursday and Friday. So I'm gonna make this dashed, I'm gonna make this red. And I'm gonna be paying close attention to this moving into Wednesday because again, once Wednesday makes its high or suggested high, I'd be looking for this as a target for price for the rest of the week moving into Thursday and Friday, especially with all this, you know, imbalance and such residing below here. Don't get me wrong, it can run into next week and we might find ourselves consolidating um, up here for a bit. But generally speaking, I want to see Tuesday's high get around one more time and then I want to see us run on lower. So what I tend to do in times like this is I'll move out as is I'll mark out the high and low of each day. Now this is the hourly. But it's just important to have an idea of where the highs and lows are because again price targets these daily highs and lows. And because I'm expecting the high of the week to be made tomorrow off, off the back of CPI, because remember CPI tends to whip both sides of the market, I want to see this get ran and then and only then would I want to see that Tuesday low get targeted. And then we also have um, Monday's low as well, which will be nice. And then you can see how we've just taken out uh, Tuesday's high right here. So moving into tomorrow, yeah, so long as we're above Monday's high, I'm happy to expect Tuesday's high to get ran. And then I want to see us switch and start hunting for more sell stops. Don't get me wrong, we look awfully bearish right now as we enter in 4 p.m., which is a weird time. But generally speaking, we'll probably consolidate, consolidate during Asia. I want to see rallying during London. And then I, again, I want to see CPI send us lower. Not that I'm going to be trading CPI or that I suggest trading CPI. So that's everything on pat on dollar. I hope that will make sense. Um, but yeah, just pay just pay close attention to the fact that we're still above. We haven't traded lower than the Sunday opening price yet. You know, so price is going to hunt for this eventually once it's happy with its stops. And don't get me wrong, we have just ran stops, but this isn't enough for me. As in, I don't think we're done. I think what I'm used to anyway 
is priced doing this I've drawn, I've drawn this out multiple times and it is hard to explain and it's a theory I'm still getting wrapped my head around especially with ICT as it's ICTs but I mean like high low high high and then we want to see that pullback so I'm expecting this basically maybe like so so we just need to be very weary of that so that's everything on dollar for now let's head on to GBP USD and we're gonna go to the daily again GBP delivered beautifully to our south side target a massive down day and look GBP had a bigger down day did it have a bigger down day had a bigger down day than euro if you look at the um, volume of the candles and this uh, lends itself to the GBP euro <laughs> to Euro GBP, which is what I was talking about in yesterday's video. So yeah, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, go watch it, I'll, I'll um, link it below. But look, this is what I was talking about, wasn't it? I was saying that we we're gonna find support here and that I wanted to see, you know, a reaction. Well, we got it and that's why we saw GBP moving so aggressively. So that's very interesting, isn't it? In fact, I didn't even realize how accurate that was. Yeah, I, I drew our attention to this rejection block level we traded down into it, hit the 50% level, and then on the daily, you can see we've just instantly started rushing up higher where to fill this imbalance. So we're probably gonna see a lot more weakness on GBP. So with this in mind, if we're expecting a reversal on dollar, for example, moving into Wednesday, what do we wanna be trading? We wanna be trading Euro because GBP is showing a lot of strength on Euro GBP and we're expecting that midweek reversal. So that's just something to keep into, into in, in, in mind. But um, I'll talk more on that when we get to Euro USD for now. Let's have a look at GBP. So we ran out south side, ran out these stops as well, and even tapped into these lows right here. Very interesting. So I'm gonna just clear it up a little bit. Are we at the 50% level of this order block? Yeah, we traded to the 75% level of this order block. Again, similarly, um, I'm happy for that Tuesday low to get grabbed and then us to trade on higher. There is a rejection block level right here. So I'm happy for price to tap into that as in moving into the early hours of tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if price managed to run down into this rejection block level. And then, you know, any lower than the 50% level of it, I'll be a little bit suspicious. But generally speaking, that's what I'm paying very close attention to, especially on the daily. Um, so let's just get that marked out. And when I mark these things out, it doesn't mean that price has to trade there. It just gives me an idea as to where it's tra trading. Because if we now turn in here, it makes sense to me especially since we've taken out these lows and on a daily level, there's not really any more PD arrays other than the rejection block as the next one. So, and remember I'm anticipating that Tuesday to get ran because I want to see this, don't I? I want to see this happen. So I'm happy f for similar price action, but let's go to the four hour and you'll see how we're just tracing now. And then there is an imbalance and a bullish order block right here. So I do like the look of this bullish order block and you can see that lines up nicely with our rejection block as well. So let's get that drawn out. And ideally, I'd like to think that this is quite sensitive to price. So moving into tomorrow again, if dollar manages to trade on higher, maybe early in the day to create the high of the week, which is ideally what I want to see, I'll be looking at pound very closely to see, okay, are we trading down into this? And then if dollar is in, in its premium PD array, which I draw our attention to. So if dollar is trading up into these highs, at the same time that we find GBP dropping lower into here, then that will be a nice setup. Assuming it's right before CPI, but I'm not saying, I don't suggest we trade CPI, but that's how I'm watching price. Cause as far as I'm concerned with this kind of downwards price action, I'm looking I'm looking for us to start finding resistance now as we're reaching this very deep south, south side. Also there's an imbalance between here and here. And if we drag this right through, excuse the colors let's just change the colors a bit but you'll see how we've just traded just above the, the 50 percent level of this imbalance so there's still val there's still an imbalance here to be filled so even more reason as to why i'm expecting price moving into tomorrow to drop down into that so let's drop to the one hour where i have my daily dividers and then again as we enter london i'm not expecting much rally and i just want to see us continue lower and then find consolidation around here before ideally coming out of it as we move into the rest of the week. And we have some high impact news on the Friday, which can also help us with that. So hopefully you get an idea of what I'm looking for. Here is the Sunday opening price, very interesting. And again, look, we're still below it. And if we're still below it by Wednesday afternoon, then Thursday and Friday is likely going to start running for it. Assuming we get, assuming we stay, you know, 
within our PDA raises and we're respecting them and price is showing a willingness to go higher, this is where I'd be targeting eventually. So we are now going to finish up on Euro and you can see how Euro is delivered beautifully to our PDA raise just as I called out yesterday as well. It's one thing calling out price going in a direction, it's another when you call the exact level. Like It's not that I'm just saying, oh, it's going to go lower. I'm saying it's going to go to these highs or lows. I'm calling the actual lows and highs because that way, when you, if you are trading it, you know when you should be exiting your positions and, um, you know, and why we're seeing a reaction such as what we're seeing here. That way, when we're doing, when we are trading into them, you can say, oh, well, we're taking out the lows. So this is why we're seeing such a reaction away from this level. It's not random as ICT would preach, but, um, daily now this is where i'll be looking for divergence so as you know i've just been preaching about how price likes to do something like this but what we'll find is that we'll have a pair so if gbp is doing this we might find that euro does this and this will be supportive of us because this will be divergence especially if we find um especially if we find a uh, dollar let me see if I can. Oh, excuse me. Can I rotate this around? No. Excuse me, guys. Okay. <laughs> So if we find GBP and Euro doing this, sorry, if we find GBP and Dollar doing this, but we find Euro doing this, and remember Euro is a stronger pair right now, that would be very hinting to me that we're likely are going to try trade higher because that would be Euro tipping its hand saying, listen, I want to be stronger. I'm willing, to, I'm ready to trade higher. It's a time of week where expecting, it's a time of week where we are expecting a reversal, and it's on the back of PD arrays that we've already delineated that will then set me up for a nice trade to go long on the euro expecting it to be able to expand to the upside but again easier said than done and on the that doesn't mean we should be trading CPI <laughs> but yeah we traded down took out these lows I've drawn out this level right here why because it's this low of an imbalance so between this low which we've just tapped into and here now there's still volume isn't there on a daily level so again price could easily come down and grab that and that's completely fine if it does ideally it doesn't that will show a lot of strength in euro which would be very nice if we are going to get the reversal that we're looking for so i'll be paying close attention to these lows moving into the early sessions of tomorrow um but it's likely what will but we need to pay close attention to how much we consolidate because if we aren't going to take out these lows but pound is we'll see heavy consolidation on euro moving into london and then in the afternoon it will just snap and start running so how can we keep an eye out for this well we can look at this breaker right here this is a 15 minute breaker by the way so it's not going to be the strongest but if euro is going to move crazy tomorrow and trade on higher like a madman it will stay above this breaker if not it will run lower and it'll take out these lows in line with gbp especially taking out these lows and then in line with dollar trading on higher but ideally ideally we see some kind of divergence now i can't tell you that because i'm not I can't see into the future guys but this is these are the kind of indicators I'm using for price if we drop lower on euro and start running out these lows so be it and that's completely fine and like I said I wouldn't be surprised if it all happened in one you know <laughs> if it done it very quickly basically on the back of in uh in the, on the back of CPI so we could just consolidate all day CPI comes runs these stops and then price just jumps on higher I wouldn't be surprised if we did that either so it's just a matter of waiting and seeing but make sure to join the discord anyone who's trading just hit me up in there I am active but that's going to be everything guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to drop a like drop a comment smash subscribe join the mailing list and yeah should be an interesting day tomorrow I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to upload I am in a hotel tomorrow and I always have problems but nonetheless um, I am active in discord so yeah thanks so much for watching catch you in the next one peace